this guy over here who is who made all your eyeballs melt just now um, is uh, named Scott Barkin, and he's awesome. Woo! And he is a New Yorker. And he has a CD over there also, along with the rest of us. So, but trust me, it's awesome. Um, let's do a let's do a song about Alaska because most of my songs are kind of about Alaska. Um, this is called "I Wish I Were a Real Alaskan Girl." I'm short. I'm short. I left it. I lost it. I'm Mr. T. Thank you. Essential. <laughs> the stage is gradually getting weirder and weirder. Thanks on it. I've been of the evening so far. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yes, I wrote this song after accidentally. Um, it's easier in Alaska to accidentally spend the night outdoors in 10 degrees when you intended to spend the night indoors in not 10 degrees. Um, but it happened to me. And I realized that day that I truly, permanently, genuinely am a city slicker. Um, but they still have me in Alaska because they're very kind that way and because we do have, you know, electricity, running water, internet, all that. Um, so I just stay downtown now and I live over my coffee shop and across the street from the bar and, and up the street from my comic shop and, you know, I have everything I need. So, um, but still, uh, here's a portrait from my heart. That sentence was not good, but I'll fix it later. <laughs> Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I wish I were a real Alaskan girl. I wish that I could hold my beer. I could wear hip waders in summer, heels a ten below. I'd have sexy woolly legs with long and flowing frozen hair. Oh, to be a scout girl in the last frontier. Where chicks run the Iditarod and win it. Yeah, I'd ranch on my own goose and I would jerk my own moose and I'd drive a huge domestic truck and actually haul stuff in it. A little less sugar, a little more spice, a whole lot of fire and even more ice. From cuts of you to catch a king, from dead horse to a two, Alaskan chicks can teach a city girl like me a thing or two. Up for years to get a chance to hold your hand. I'd find me some big bird lip bush pilot boy. I would hook and reel him in and fiance. But if he ever double crossed me or tried to do me wrong, I wouldn't hardly hesitate to skin gut and play him. I'd shoot more than a camera at the animals and such. I'd eat Rudolph for breakfast and Boeing up for lunch. Oh, Alaskan girls are fearsome and fearless by design. They kill mosquitoes with a look and mess with trusting tourist minds. They're ruggedly handsome in their way. They're wild and free and meant to be that way. So from Jackalove to Juno, raise a glass to a proud and confident and deserving Alaskan woman you know. But not that one. <laughs> and from Beaver to Tatidlik, Here's to ladies who understand that their self-image should have nothing whatsoever to do with their shade of lipstick. Which was hard, but I had to rhyme with Tatitlik. Oh, I wish I were a real Alaskan girl, but when it comes down to it, for most of us, Los Anchorage is gonna have 